My neighbor bought this Dell Inspiron 7586 two-in-one laptop three years ago. It's pretty cool. You can fold the screen all the way back and sort of turn it into a tablet, not that he's ever done that. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi card has failed for the third time in three years and it's way out of warranty. So I'm gonna help the old buzzard and replace it for him. It's not too difficult if you have a few tools. Yeah, you're gonna make it all 220? Yeah, 220, 221, whatever it takes. Here's the replacement card I bought on Amazon. Gotta say, I'm not impressed that it came in an ordinary plastic bag in a plastic envelope rather than an anti-static bag in a cardboard box. But apparently it's all about costs these days. In case you're wondering, the TA gave me special dispensation from my regular duties to assist the buzzard with this. The TA is my task assigner. The call of the TA usually starts with, Hey hun, or something similar like a crashing noise and, uh oh. Before the buzzard called me, he spent some time on the phone with Dell support and went through the typical Windows settings, checked for drivers and so on, until the support agent concluded it was the card itself causing the problem. It would help support the channel if you would please hit the like button. Also, become a subscriber and ring the bell if you'd like to be notified of new videos. And I appreciate your comments. Also, if you expand the video description, you'll find links to the tools and gear I used for this project. If you're watching on a computer, the video description is that bolded more below the video. And if you're on a mobile device like a phone or tablet, there should be an arrow on the right just below the video that will expand more info about the video. In there, you'll see links to my tools and gear. And if you use those links, it will help make my time and effort on these videos worthwhile. Now that we have the cover off, let's get the battery disconnected so we don't inadvertently short anything. Here's the existing card and the new card. The colors are reversed, but the labels are the same. These wires are the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antennas. If you reverse them, you may suffer from shortened range for both frequencies. The best practice here would be to follow the label, not the color. The wire on the left should stay on the left, and so on. Don't swap them to make the colors match. I removed the retaining clip and the old Wi-Fi card then fought the connectors for literally half an hour before I realized they don't merely snap on straight down. I needed to rock them from the back to the front to get them on. Now I'll insert the bottom of the card back into the motherboard and replace the retaining clip. Now let's reconnect the battery and since I have the cover off I'll go ahead and use a can of compressed air to blow out this fan. They tend to collect dust. I ran a speed test and the results were close to what I was getting on my own laptop nearby on the counter, so looks like it's time to call it quits for the day. You know what that means. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and use those links in the description.